Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video I will show you some of my indoor low maintenance air purifying plants. At first we have aloe vera. Generally we have aloe vera but we keep them outdoor. But only some people know that aloe vera can be also kept indoors. Aloe vera is, great, is a nice indoor plant. It has very pulpy leaves, it has all the gels. Some people use gel for different purposes like moisturizing skin and other, and other things. Gener if you buy aloe vera, you can only buy one plant and what will happen? What will happen from time to time, it will send out pups or runners and when they will be bigger or in a at the right stage like they will be bigger they will have enough roots you can propagate them and make new plants now i will show you their mother plant this is the mother plant you can see all the leaves are growing in different directions some uh, what, sometimes what happens aloe vera grow in one direction like in one direction like in those two leaves are going sometimes they if they if they have more space they go like this like a spider look this is one of the other plants which i have propagated our second plant is money plant or pothos generally what happen people see in those feng shui and vastu lucky plants there is also money plant it will make money it will it will be nice for homes but I don't believe it but I keep them because I like plants not because of any vastu myths the fun fact about money plant is that you can arrange it in any manner of your choice I like money plants trailing so I have kept it like this I have kept it on a higher place so it looks very beautiful on this side there is sunlight, very little sunlight falls so all the growth is coming on this side mostly if you could see there are different varieties of money plant this is the common variety which we get variegated I don't know if there is a plain green one once I would cut a cutting and planted it in it only green I mean like plain green dark green leaves came then again the variegation showed up I don't know if there is a complete green one and there is also the neon money plant uh, they have, these are very good plants for beginners I will say our next plant is Rio the spelling of it is R-H-E-O not R-I-O though some people say it wrong it is a very nice indoor plant also for beginners I will show you it had flowers it has white flowers this bud will open tomorrow these two are spent flowers first i thought that it was a side branching but it wasn't nice plant if you see on these have very glossy leaves this is only dust because there's construction going out see one so glossy leaves one part of the leaf is green the underside is violet that is another cool fact about it this also sends runners or pups from the ground from which you can propagate our next plant is another common plant this is the erica palm you can almost keep many of the palms you know like say sago palm or cycus windmill palm but erica palm is more famous among them like bamboo palm and parlor palm also but areca palm is commonly available so i'm showing it nice deep foliage and these are two phoenix palm or dwarf date plant palm i mean dwarf date palm and it has very nice leaves palms are low maintenance plant uh, but you have to keep it in mind that you do not have to over fertilize them otherwise it will cause leaf burns like this this is Defenbachia this is another nice and in no low maintenance this is the this is very low maintenance plant generally you will see it in gardens 
sometimes even people plant them around their houses they look beautiful and this plant is a bit toxic yes it is toxic so do not tear its leaves and keep pets and children away from it otherwise they may tear its leaves and eat it so it is not good nice plant our next plant is snake plant snake plant is also very good it it exhales oxygen during at night also which is a nice fact now i will show you the mother this is the mother plant what i did was i took a piece of leaf and put it in the ground and i propagated it i will show you the leaf this is a leaf i just keep it moist and it sends me and it gives pups around the root base and but these this is a variegated snake plant the pups or the baby plants will not be variegated so they will not have the border see they have no border that variegation they do not have any variegation our next plant is boston fern there are many kinds of fern you can keep but boston fern is the is the one you, which you can get mostly in most of the plant shops do not give it direct sunlight otherwise there will be sunburns like this it had some more but they have faded it's a nice plant it increases humidity around the air and definitely and definitely i will recommend you to buy a bigger one this is very small one just a half of my palm almost a bit bigger very nice you can keep it in hanging pots and uh, what i can say the planters which hang like this on some rod or something you can also hang them do not give it direct sunlight i will say and keep the soil of it moist not soggy or wet but moist this is syngonium syngonium is another beautiful plant there are different varieties one is the green another is a neon kind of i think that this is a neon one i think only i am i am not sure this is a very nice plant you can keep it indoors as well as outdoors but they they the but the ones which are planted outdoors should get some shade i planted another money plant and in here there's an ayurvedic plant i don't know what is the name and there's a surprise see there's a mushroom growing in there if you can see i had not seen it but there's a mushroom see the stem of the mushroom and the dome i don't know what is called but it's the dome there's another mushroom growing there right there another mushroom so we have reached our final plant but it does not stop there are more uh, indoor plants these are all the plants which i have and can be kept indoors this is peace lily or spathiphyllum nice indoor plant this is a variegated one i had forgotten to mention it this is the variegated if you can see see variegated it does not has any pests it was only this was older older leaves some of them it is not natural though but i i don't worry and it is doing fine and great it had this i had two plants of peace lily it had it had these flowers i gave it npk and it turned green because it was in equal ratio npk 90 90 19 so while it is flowering so give it npks or if you have npk the one with the with the first number less it has two more buds yes see this one is the bud what happened let me show you this is the leaf the flower is coming from inside the leaf like that i have another bud if you can see yeah it's, it's here is the yes yeah, the bud is coming out from here these are all the plants which i have that can be then that can be kept indoor and are low maintenance and also as air purifiers i will not recommend you to keep orchids inside because orchid needs a cool temperature 
and we do not have cool temperature inside our homes but rather cool and shaded places and these are not all the plants that that can be kept indoor there are other plants also like there is anthurium i don't have an anthurium and uh, there there is also that chinese evergreen or aglolema it's a funny name aglolema chinese evergreen is also another plant thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel